Welcome back to another library video, Del Mar. It's the last trimester of the 2023 school year. There are many events and activities planned in the coming months, so make sure you are following all school expectations and are continuing to refine your habits of learning. Whether it was your dystopia projects you created in eighth grade after you finished reading Fahrenheit 451, or preparing for the big art show at the Belvedere Tiburon Library, or successfully hosting the Neon Dance. It's been great to see Del Mar students putting their creative talents into making awesome things happen at our school. This month, in keeping with our year-long theme of celebrating each other, Del Mar observes Women's History Month. Every March, the nation celebrates the contributions of strong women from the past and present. Congress set aside one month each year to recognize sacrifices made by women that have helped make our country and the world a fairer, safer place for all. It started as Women's Day, which was celebrated on February 28, 1909 by a group of New York suffragettes in honor of the one-year anniversary of the garment strike led by the International Ladies Garment Workers Union. Molly Murphy McGregor, a teacher in Sonoma County, noticed that there weren't many women in her students' history books. She then started building more curriculum to showcase achievements by women in U.S. history. It caught on and spread to other schools. Eventually, President Jimmy Carter issued the first presidential proclamation in 1980, declaring the week of March 8th as National Women's History Week. The weekly observance continued until 1987, when Congress designated March as Women's History Month. And in the library, we have many books to supplement Women's History Month. Let's look at some of them now. Jacqueline Woodson, one of today's finest writers, tells the moving story of her childhood growing up in the 60s and 70s in mesmerizing verse. Touching and powerful, each poem is both accessible and emotionally charged, each line a glimpse into a child's soul as she searches for her place in the world. Her love of stories inspired and stayed with her, creating the first sparks of the gifted writer she was to become. The Girl Who Drew Butterflies is about one of the first naturalists to observe live insects directly, Maria Silvia Marion. In this nonfiction biography, illustrated throughout with full-color original paintings by Marion herself, author Joyce Sidman paints her own picture of one of the first female entomologists and a woman who flouted convention in the pursuit of knowledge and her passion for insects. In the 1940s, young women enlisted for duty in the U.S. Army as nurses, serving in jerry-rigged jungle hospitals or in underground tunnels. Pure Grit is a story of sisterhood and suffering, of tragedy and betrayal, and the struggle for life. This great nonfiction book has many great images and diagrams that should excite anyone interested in that time period. From award-winning author Tanya Bolden comes a biography of the very first black woman elected to the U.S. House of Representatives and the first black woman to run for president with a major political party, Shirley Chisholm. This engaging history text is a quick read and sure to inspire any reader. And in our classic corner, a wonderfully entertaining coming-of-age story, Northanger Abbey, which is often referred to as Jane Austen's gothic parody. Decrept castles, locked rooms, mysterious chests, cryptic notes, and tyrannical fathers give this story an uncanny air, but one with a fascinating twist. The new Belvedere Tiburon Library Art Gallery will feature 40 masterpieces created by Del Mar Middle School art students. Please visit the library between March 16th and April 13th. And of course, see our Women's History Month display in front of the library. Until next time, Del Mar.